When's the last time you went back to school? In Studio Sarita is listed as the world's 50 most innovative companies in 2014. And here we are today at Wardorf Astoria Hotel, Beijing, China, attending classes, learning how to use cutlery at the dining table, dress tastefully, and make self-introductions. You can also join the class and become a more sophisticated lady. It is never too late to learn etiquette and manners. Why not follow me and take a look? 29-year-old Sarah Jane Ho, a native of Hong Kong and a Harvard grad, decided to make her career in Beijing. Her job is to help rich Chinese housewives improve their manners and impress their guests at home. This afternoon, Ho is teaching 10 students how to have a French dinner and an English afternoon tea. Together with Rebecca Lee, a King's College graduate, Ho established her school, called Institute Sarita, in 2012. She got the idea after learning about Switzerland's Institut via Pierre Fou, a finishing school. You know, Institut Sarita and, and opening this etiquette school, actually what, what we call a finishing school, was really just about following my passion. And it came about a number of ways. Um, so firstly, I myself went to Swiss finishing school. And this was in, in, in Switzerland. Swiss finishing schools teach social skills and cultural norms for young women. Both Princess Diana and Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, studied there. But most of them have gone bankrupt due to a shrinking number of students in recent years. But in Beijing, where the number of wealthy Chinese is increasing, Ho's school is doing well. Because, as you know, you know China's GDP is growing, it's becoming a global power, and Chinese are becoming richer. And I think that for the modern-day Chinese woman uh, to, to sort of have a guide on on how to be a hostess, um, how to take care of others. You know, she's had, she has increasing uh, social needs of a high end. A single 12-day course is priced at 100,000 yuan, or 16,200 US dollars. A 10-day course costs 80,000 yuan. One of Ho's students is a woman surnamed Lu, a native of Shanghai. She came all the way to Beijing to take the course after hearing about it online. Today, basically, we are learning like um, many French cuisine, uh, including how we should order, how we should like eat, and also the pronunciation. That is very helpful. Well, the first, first when you travel to France, you can definitely know what's on the menu and like what to do, like how to order. But also, as China is going like more westernized and internationalized, so you definitely are going to more like formal dinner and you're having Western cuisine, so you know um, like how you're going to be seated, like what's the next course is, and how you use the fork, the knife, and you sh will definitely not be embarrassed if you like break some rules. So that's very helpful, especially for us, like we are just entering the society and having um, uh, like a job, and we definitely need to be very polite in that kind of social occasion. Lu, like many other rich Chinese, has only recently come into wealth. She said she believes having good manners is a must. She also likes to practice speaking English. Now is a very interesting time for the modern day Chinese woman to know how to represent China. And we see that with our first lady, who is very elegant and that we're very proud of. So I, I think that there's a huge responsibility and the modern day Chinese woman is learning very quickly and our students in particular are understanding that you know, they, when they go abroad they're representing the country. Tonight, Ho is hosting a dinner in an upscale restaurant that used to be a temple. She hopes to see what her students have learned from her lessons. To become Beijing's Swiss Manners, this is more than just about telling the difference between a shrimp cocktail fork and a chopstick. Sarah Jane Ho, principal and founder of the first finishing school in China, Institute Sarita, is launching Sarah's dinner tonight at the 600 euro historical temple Beijing restaurant. Behind me, you can see an elegant glass board private dining room and each dinner is limited to 10 guests who will enjoy the capital's finest contemporary European cuisine. On this magical evening, you may take pleasure in forming friendships over delicious food and wine pairings, as well as perfecting the art of Western table manners and even be prepared to learn some etiquette party tricks. You can also join Sarah's dinner tonight for around 1,000 yuan or 160 US dollars for a seat. 
Each time, the process will be donated to a different charitable organization, so that the spirit of etiquette may reach far and wide. The Sarita School offers two specialty courses: a hostessing course for married women and a debutante course for unmarried women. The students of the former are either the wives of entrepreneurs or are entrepreneurs themselves. And it's、um, it's held at my favorite restaurant、uh, in Beijing, Temple Restaurant TRB,、uh, and it's really about coming together. It's sort of the art of how to throw a dinner party as a hostess and bringing ten people who are meeting each other for the first time, who can be men or women, young or old, and how to create. A magical thing.、Okay, no, um, so the art of table conversation, table manners,、uh, small talk,、uh, greetings and introductions.、Uh, these things are all practiced at the dinner table this evening. So, so, and for us, it's about almost an etiquette awareness. We call it the spirit of etiquette. And they, within already day one or day two. You can see their minds, their perspectives opening. And I remember at the end of the first day, one of my students, after because my students are actually very inquisitive, they ask a lot of questions. They're they're here to learn. And one of my students at the end of dinner, she said, "You know, now I realize what etiquette is about on my first day. It's about controlling yourself and consideration for others." In addition to dinner etiquette. Po also teaches golf, polo, and horse riding.